Hi, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make heart-shaped red velvet whoopie pies. They're red velvet cakes in the shape of hearts, and they're sandwiched with the marshmallowy cream cheese frosting. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Be sure to subscribe for new videos every Monday, Thursday, and Saturday. So let's get started. First, preheat the oven to 350 degrees. Then into a medium bowl, add in the flour, cocoa powder, baking soda, and salt. Whisk them until they're combined, and set it aside for now. Then into a large bowl, Add in the softened butter, sugar, and brown sugar, and cream them with an electric mixer on medium-high speed for three minutes until the mixture lightens. Add in the eggs one at a time, make sure they're at room temperature, Mixing well after adding each one. Then add in the buttermilk, white vinegar, vanilla extract, red gel food coloring, not liquid food coloring, and mix them until they're combined. Add in the dry ingredients. Mix them in on low speed until just or almost combined. And finish it by hand to combine all the ingredients. Try not to overmix the batter. Then to make these into heart shapes, Take a heart-shaped cookie cutter and trace the inside onto a sheet of parchment paper that fits the sheet pan that you're using, spacing them out about one inch apart to give them room to spread. Flip over the paper so no pencil markings get onto the dessert. Pour the batter into a piping bag fitted with a large round piping tip or just a regular plastic bag and you can just cut off the corner. Use the batter to stick the paper onto the pan if needed. And pipe the batter onto the paper in heart shapes using the drawn shapes as your guide. Then bake them in the oven for about 8 minutes until they're set. And I like to prep another batch while one batch is in the oven, so when the first batch is done I can just immediately put the next batch into the oven. Once they're done, remove them from the oven and let them cool for about 5 minutes or until they're cooled enough to touch. Then transfer them to a cooling rack and let them cool completely. Then keep going until all the batter is used up. For the filling, you can just make a cream cheese frosting or filling, but traditionally, whoopie pies have a marshmallow cream filling, so we're going to be making a marshmallow cream cheese filling. And you can use a stand mixer or an electric can mixer. A stand mixer is much easier, so that's what I'm going to be using. So into the bowl, add in the egg whites. And whip them until they're foamy. Then add in the salt and cream of tartar 
and continue whipping until it reaches stiff peaks. Then into a small saucepan, add in the sugar, water, and corn syrup. Place the saucepan onto the stove over high heat. Stir the ingredients to combine them. And heat it until it comes to a boil. Once it's boiling, you don't have to stir it anymore. And heat it until it gets up to 240 degrees Fahrenheit. It does take some time, about five minutes. Once it reaches 240 degrees, take it off the heat, turn the mixer onto medium speed, and immediately pour in the hot syrup in a slow, steady stream while the mixer is running. Make sure as you're pouring it, the syrup doesn't touch the whisk or the side of the bowl. If it touches the whisk, the syrup will splatter around the sides of the bowl instead of going into the egg whites. If it touches the side of the bowl, it will cool down before getting into the egg whites. So make sure you're pouring it somewhere in between the whisk and the side of the bowl. Once all of it is added, continue whipping it on medium to high speed until the mixture is cooled down, which takes about 10 to 15 minutes. Just feel the side of the bowl. It shouldn't have any warmth at all. That's how you'll know it's completely cooled. Then into a separate medium bowl, Add in the softened cream cheese and softened butter and beat them with an electric mixer until they're smooth. Then sift the powdered sugar into another bowl and gradually add it into the butter and cream cheese while mixing. Once the marshmallow mixture is cooled, add in the cream cheese mixture and vanilla extract and mix them until they're well combined. And finish it by hand to combine all the ingredients. If the mixture is too runny, then cover it in plastic wrap and place it into the fridge until it's cold and thick. Then take it out of the fridge and whip it again to soften it. Pipe the filling onto the bottom side of one of the heart-shaped cakes. Add another one onto the top and do that for the rest of them. And that's how to make heart-shaped red velvet whoopie pies. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, give this video a like, and check out my channel for many more videos, and subscribe to my channel for more to come. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.